Hey folks, I ordered this from AliExpress, um, I don't know, about a, two, three weeks ago. Uh, it's one of two things, I believe. It's either my RTL SDR V3 dongle or it's an MLA30 loop. Uh, so we'll see what it is. I ordered both. I wanted to add it to my Texan radio or at least use it for the, MLA, for the um, RTL uh, SDR V3. So let's open this up. I don't know, I have no idea what's in here. And uh, there's another packet coming for me in uh, about another week, which is whatever the rest of this thing is. So let's see what we got. So just a soft pack. I have a feeling it is antenna, as I feel cable or wire in here or something. So let's see what you get. I think it cost me about $40 US, 35, 40 bucks, something like that, uh, for the, M uh, the MLA loop and the RS. Um, RTL SDR V3 was also about that much uh, with a bunch of stuff that it comes with as well. So let's see what we got. Okay, lots of packing. Uh, you know, looks like they've done a good job making sure that it's nicely protected. And yeah, it's definitely something round in here. And there's a box. So I think this is the MLA loop, if I'm not mistaken. I recognize the shape okay let's see okay here we are okay so what comes in the box okay we have and I'll zoom in here there's lots of reviews about this thing already so um, I'm not gonna open up the you know we'll take a look at the insides of these things um, but basically we have our MLA30 mega loop. It's an active loop antenna. Uh, now it says frequency range 0.5 to 30 megahertz. Um, it does vary on its reception, uh, as you'll see in other reviews of this thing. Uh, but for $40, uh, they've had re uh, comparisons against other antennas, and it came up pretty well. You know, not nothing spectacular, but uh, it may beat out my uh, wire that I have now that just hangs out my window. This is the actual uh, receiver. You can see it's tied together and when you take off these twist ties, uh, it opens up into a fairly large diameter loop. This is about three or four, three uh, loops, to, um, windings around. So it's gonna be a much larger circle. The coax that comes off this thing, people have complained about being too thin. Um, I can see why. The connection on the end of this is also quite small. Um, I don't think it's a standard coax size. This is a charger, or, or not a charger, but a power supply cable for this, uh, the biasing T here. And you can see that uh, plugs in. This goes to the antenna, and then this thing goes to the, the um, your receiver, or you could plug it into um, a radio. Uh, but that connection, I'm just curious to see if it's the same size like a normal uh, coax. And uh, I've seen people open these up and then basically they disconnect this wire and they attach a regular coax cable. Let's have a look at this thing and see if it connects to something. Here's This is a BNC um, coax cable. Let me just open this up. I happen to have these laying around to use on my uh, um, so you can see obviously they're the wrong size, right? I'm not gonna connect. But I'm just wondering what a regular household cable size is, the kind that you would use for TV. So one second. Okay, this is a regular um, cable connection, the kind that you would use for, uh, for your coax. And you can see that they're not the same size. They're a different pitch, right? Hey guys, in the video, I mentioned that I was surprised about the smaller size of the connector that comes with the MLA loop versus this one that I thought it was coming with. This is actually an SMA connector. This is called an F type connector, typically used in coax connections in the house for the cable, uh, for your cable box and your TV. It is not SMA. I know they look similar, 
but the, the technical term or name for this is the F type and this is an actual SMA so the RTL SDR V3 dongle comes with this the SMA connector so that's why it's gonna fit that and uh, there you have it so what I'm saying is that uh, there have been people who modify these so that they um, they no longer use the small one and I'm not sure what the RTL SDR dongle has if it uses a small type connection like this or a big one if they use a big one they'll basically remove this and connect up a large coax you don't need this much wire and I'm sure the conductor in this thing is very thin you may lose signal or have interference problems with such a thin conductor and the RTL SDR actually provides its own biasing um, T power to the loop antenna so you don't necessarily need this thing to uh, in inject power into the antenna uh, therefore once I get the other um, the dongle the radio SDR radio I will let you know what input it accepts whether it uses the tiny one or the larger regular coax and if that's the case I may end up modifying this in order to put the larger coax on and uh, the only thing is I won't be able to use this anymore unless I get some adapters because these are the little tiny connectors uh, they're not meant for the large one so there you have it just a quick unboxing video of what you get with the MLA 30 loop basically the wire the main loop antenna that screws onto these uh, little wing nuts here on each side okay you, you have to still buy make a piece of PVC pipe or something to mount this to uh, which is fine and this is the biasing T and power you have to find a low noise source uh, of uh, pat battery power usually I would uh, probably use a I wouldn't plug it into a wall outlet uh, adapter I think they get to be noisy you might have to try a um, one of those phone chargers to power this thing a battery pack and uh, that might help okay there you have it thanks for watching bye for now